Hi, this is Bini here. I did this video many times already and I thought that this could be the last time that I want to do it because there's too many tries. Um, the reason why I want to do this video is because um, not only I wanted to share with you the copper trade, the oil trade, the uh, S&P 500 trade, but um, I wanted to talk about how you could have many of such winning trades. Okay, and, and, I, and I see that one of the key reasons of many people not able to be profitable is because they are not convinced at the subconscious level of their strategy. Because if you look at your strategy, you probably learn it from someone else. You probably read it. You probably look at the many YouTube videos. And because there are so many YouTube videos, so many people sharing their strategies, easy to jump from one to the other or to declare that your previous one doesn't work and then the next one is better and you move on to the next one, right? Um, by doing so, you are not giving enough time for your previous strategy to work out. Okay, maybe your previous strategy is going to be the one for you. Now, I think that not all strategies are suitable for everyone. Okay, there are some which are suitable, some which are not. For example, when I first started out, I was scalping. But now, at this point of time, I don't think a scalping strategy suits me anymore. Okay, but perhaps that you are scalping and then you think that trading on the four hour time frame is too boring, too slow, and that's not suitable for you. Okay, so first, to be profitable, what you need to do is to find one strategy that you know how it's being constructed. That means that what is the underlying dynamic that is used to create this strategy? Why is that so? Because by understanding the underlying dynamic, then you can be convinced at the subconscious level. Now, when you are convinced at the subconscious level, it means that when you are about to pull the trigger, when, that means that when you're about to click the button to buy or sell, then you are confident to execute according to the strategy. Because a lot of time, I find that when people are not successful, it is not that they do not know how to trade. It is just that at that point of time, when they need to pull the button, to press the button to click the buy or sell, they are not doing it. They are not doing it because they pause and they question, is this going to be correct? Is this the good trade where I lose money? Or maybe that they had an earlier impression from the previous strategy that they had and then they sort of remember, oh yeah, the previous strategy said I shouldn't be doing this. All right, And then they pause. But what happened? You realize that the trade that you've given up is the correct one and it moved a lot. So in, in the first place, you have to understand the underlying dynamic of that strategy. Be convinced of it at the subconscious level. And that's very important. When you're convinced of it, they are confident of your trade. You are confident of yourself and you're confident to put in the trade. All right, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to share with you the strategy that I'm always using. That means for 100% of my trade, I'm using the strategy that I created myself, which is wash and rinse. It doesn't mean that it is the best, but it is the best for me because on the subconscious level, I am very convinced about it because I know the underlying dynamic of how this strategy is based on. Right, the first trade is copper. Let me show you where was the entry. So I make the entry at this bar here, somewhere around this price here. Okay, I have actually taken profit because of the low here. The reason why I trusted the copper trade, you okay, take a look at this place. Okay, all of us would know that perhaps this would be a resistance and then this one is a resistance and this is a resistance. And what happened at this bar here, there was a breakout of the resistance. By right, a breakout should be pointing that there was a lot of buying uh, enthusiasm when price broke out of a uh, resistance. And when it break out, it should continue to move higher once it break out of this resistance. Okay, so that's what we know. If you look at the bar itself, the bar is also very, very bullish because it closed right at the high, isn't it? Now, what happened if the bullish movement doesn't continue? That means that what happened if that the so-called bullishness failed? It failed. Okay, and then price turned downwards. That means that at this particular place here, 
price actually turns downward, right? This place here, right? Price moves downward. So there was this breakout here out of the zone of a resistance and then after that price moved downwards. Now you know that those people who bought into at this bar here would right now be very worried. Daddy, I'm scared. Okay, then what would they do then? Oh, they would be either thinking, scratching their heads whether they should be exiting the, the buy position or some might have already been stopped out when price turns back down or some like me would be adding on to the agony in a way because then I'll be adding in the shots because I see that this breakout here is a failed breakout and once it's a failed breakout then there will be a lot of shock in the market and people will be flooding in to exit their position and if I can actually carry on with the shot that would be you know very profitable in this case here. So the underlying dynamic of wash and rinse is based on a fake breakout and when it's fail and when things doesn't turn out to be true you realize that there will be a rush to exit the position and if I can just add on a shot to that rush then you find that your trade generally will be very profitable. Now because this idea here is in my subconscious, I know of this, I know the underlying dynamic of it, I can create a story. That means I'll be able to come up with the story for this trade and that's why I'm very confident of this and when I see this, I hit the button and I put in the trade. Time to hit the button! Okay, so that's, that's what I mean by being very confident at the subconscious. And how to be very confident? You have to be able to create a story out of your trade. Let's move on to the second trade, which is on oil. The oil business is always good. And uh, let me just show you the place where I've entered the shot. It is at this place here. So this was the place I've entered the shot. The price is somewhere here. Okay, so let me just go through the dynamic or rather the reason of doing so. First, same thing is using the same reason over and over again. There was a resistance here. So this was that resistance and price had a breakout. Now, not only that this resistance is, uh, is, is the, the resistance, right? If you scroll back a little bit, you realize that um, in fact that oil was really near to this previous high. But surprisingly, there was still a bullish push. There was still a bullish push to break out. It means that a lot of people could have seen this breakout and pile their money in to buy on the breakout. But what happened if whatever that they did, whatever that they pile in, it failed the next moment. Your hit on the stock exchange, it didn't work. That means they would be really questioning or scrambling to actually rush out of the buying position, isn't it? Okay, so what I did is that uh, when price moved above it, I don't do anything because I think that by buying on the breakout is to buy at a high. So this is not my principle. Okay, but I was thinking that if price should turn back down, so these would be a wash and reads, and which is, which is a very, very high probability strategy. Okay, so price moved above that resistance level and then moved back down. So this is called the wash and rinse and I just pump in a shot when it closed back down into that resistance level. Simple. Look, it's really simple. And then the trade moved down and right now near to the support, then I'll be looking to lock in my profit. You just see it and hit it. It's pretty simple actually. What is the conviction that I have? My conviction is that as I said, right, you'll be able to make up a story when price break above a key level, but that didn't continue on. A lot of people will be scrambling to get out of the position. And what you do, you just hit the other side. Okay, which is to go short then. All right, <laughs> let's do it. Yeah. The third trade is to short on S&P 500 using the same method as well. You realize that I'm using the same method over and over again. Looks like the same method. Let's go ahead. I don't jump from one method to the other and I'm able to make the money. The next trade is S&P 500 because there was a cluster of a resistance up here. So what happened at that point of time was that again, price had this bullish movement. So it broke out of a minor level here. So this was that very bullish bar. Okay, so it had a break above it, but then it's still hitting right into the zone of a resistance. So it's, it's in a key resistance, right? So when price flipped back down into the breakout area, 
So that's where I hit with a sell around here. Of course, that um, at that point of time, it wasn't a very, very bullish price action. All right, so I was pretty much um, still not very confident. Okay, so that's where um, when price had a moved above this bar, very, very bullish bar. All right, and I know that that was a previous resistance that now turns into a support level. So a lot of people must be thinking, right, that this is a huge support level and they want to buy it thinking that there could be a rebound. But what happened? What happened if, you know, this bullish movement failed? Uh, that's the key thing. What happened if it failed, right? If it failed, uh, then it's time for me to go short because it means that there will be a lot of people who are trying to buy in at this bar here, but then they once they see that price to move below what they bought, they'll be rushing to exit their position. Okay, so that was to me a failed breakout. Now, if you look at the update of the video here that I made, right, on uh, S&P 500, you knew that I highlighted this trade there exactly on how to put it in. Okay, and I'm using the same method over and over again. Same, same, what? Same, 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 same. And then um, it works so well. But the key thing that I'm trying to deliver in this video, it is not the matter. It is where are you convinced about your own matter? Are you convinced that uh, this is the point that you should confidently put in the trade? When you're good at something, you keep doing it. And that is the key thing. You can have a very good method, but if you're going to skip your trade 90% of the time and question 90% of the time, then this is not going to help you. For example, I used to like not be confident at all. Up here, you need to be confident, clean and tight. Um, I went through this and I thought that, you know, perhaps that this is something I truly, truly want to share with you. Understand the dynamic of your strategy and then execute it until it really really failed all right otherwise then try the wash and means it works well okay now i hope that you like this video and if you do remember to hit the subscribe button and then i'll see you again in my next video